and we're live. Hey guys, so I'm Chelsea and I'm gonna run you through a body weight plyometric workout. Uh, so for all of you missing Olympic weightlifting, powerlifting, or any like speed or explosiveness, that's what we're gonna focus and uh, target today um, using just your body weight. So awesome. So we're gonna start with a warm up together. So we're gonna go through a blended squat. So I'm just gonna get everybody to sink down into your squat position. Feet should be about hip width. You're gonna use your elbows to kind of push your uh, knees out to keep your chest nice and upright. You wanna do a little side to side here. You can go ahead. And from here, we're gonna shoot our hips up. Again, a little side to side, shake out those hamstrings. We're gonna walk out into a plank and we're gonna do five scapular push-ups. So think about squeezing your shoulder blades together and then pushing them as far apart while keeping your arms straight. From there, we're gonna drop down into an upward dog. If you wanna do a little side to side here, you can. Awesome. From here, we're going to tuck our toes and walk our hands back to our feet. Awesome, give a little butt shake again, and then we'll slowly roll up. Awesome. From here, we're gonna go into an inchworm plus one push up. So we're going to reach down, walk ourselves out into a plank position, keeping our core nice and tight, and then do one push up and walk our hands back to our feet and fully stand up. We'll, we'll do that four more times. If you need to scale, you can go from your knees as well. So walking your hands out, dropping to your knees, Doing one push up, picking your knees back up and walking your hands back. Awesome, fully stand. So I'll show you guys from the side here. So bending down, walking ourselves out. If you need to drop your knees, doing a push up, keeping your elbows nice and tight, core nice and tight throughout these whole movements. Standing back up. We have two more, so walking ourselves back out into our plank. Chest reaches the ground, back up. Walking our hands back to our feet. Standing up again, and we'll do one more. So walking our hands out. Again, if you need to drop to your knees, just keep your core nice and tight. Pick your knees back up. As you walk your, your hands back to your feet, and we'll stand up. Awesome. So the next movement we're gonna do to kind of warm up those glutes a little bit more are some clamshells, everybody's favorite movement. So we're gonna lay on our side. Um, if you wanna add some extra pizzazz, you can put your hand on your hip, up to you. From there, we're just basically going to lift our top leg up to the sky. So you should feel this in your outer glute area. And it also just feels awkward, so it's fine. We're all awkward together. So we're gonna do about 10 per side. So making eye contact with people if you really want to, just add some extra, extra fun to these ones. Awesome. Okay, once you've done your 10, we'll switch sides. So just getting the opposite leg out front or on top. And these don't have to be fast. You can do them nice, slow and controlled get better engagement. If you have a monster band, you can tie the band um, around your legs and get a little bit extra resistance there. So a couple more reps. Three more. Two. And one. Awesome. So the next thing we are gonna do is some air squats. So we're gonna start with five slow air squats. So nice and slow down. Nice and slow up. So going down, we're gonna turn to the side. Keep your chest nice and upright. Go as low as you can. So if you can only go this low, that's okay. If you're able to go all the way down, go as deep as you can. We'll keep you a nice tight core. So we'll do one more here. And now we're gonna do five air squats at a normal speed. We'll do two more. Excellent. Now we're gonna add a little jump to these, okay? So we're just gonna start with a little jump. So trying to squeeze our butt at the top and land with nice, soft knees. 
We'll do one more big jump there. Awesome, okay. So to get our heart rate up a little bit more, we're gonna do one minute of running in place, and every 10 seconds, we're gonna drop into a burpee. Yay. So, we are gonna go in three, two, one. So we're gonna run in place. Burpee. And back running in place again. If you need to do a nerpy, you can do a nerpy as well. Burpee or nerpy. Burpee. Awesome job, guys. Keep it up. Burpee or nerpy. Good job. Almost there. Keep your heart rate up. Nice work, guys. Fast feet on this last one. Almost there. Keep it going. Burpee. Awesome. Okay. So now that we are nice and warmed up, I'll explain the workout. So we are going to be doing three rounds of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off of jumping air squats, jumping lunges, um, burpee to a squat, and skater lunges. All of these have scales, um, so if you're not able to do the jumping, that's okay. So, basically, what's gonna happen, we'll do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest in between the movements, and then in between full rounds, you have a minute of rest. So you're gonna go air squat, jumping lunges to your uh, burpee to squat, and then your skater lunges and rest a minute. So you can kind of work out that lactic acid a little bit. So we're gonna start with our jumping air squats, 30 seconds of work, and then I will talk you through the uh, jumping lunges. So with the air squats for the scale, you can just do your normal air squats for 30 seconds, or you can do your jumping air squats for 30 seconds of work. So we are gonna go in three, two, and one, go. So trying to get as high as you can, keeping your chest nice and upright, core tight. If you need to do air squats, you can also do air squats. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Almost there, guys. Good job. Keep moving. Awesome, and rest. 30 seconds of rest. So, next one is going to be jumping lunges. If that's, again, too much, you need to scale down. The scale is going to be step back lunges. If you need to hold on to something, you can hold on to something. If not, that's what we'll do. So. We're gonna go very shortly. So make sure you breathe in between. <laughs> and getting ready to go. And go. So jumping lunges. You should feel the booty burn. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Make sure you remember to breathe. If that's too much, you guys can do reverse step back lunges. Almost there. Good job, guys. Five seconds, keep going. Awesome, good. Make sure you take some time to kind of take your breath down, breathe a little bit. Our next one is going to be a burpee into a squat. We're gonna do a burpee, jump our feet up, pause in the squat, back into a burpee. If that's too much, you can do just a plain burpee with a high jump or a nerpy. So pick whatever you guys need to do and right back into it. So making sure you guys are pausing in your squat. Core is nice and tight. 
even in our burpee. Again, the scale, normal burpees with the jump. Or a nerpy. Good job, guys. Alrighty, our last one, skater lunges. So we're gonna start on one leg and we're gonna jump to the opposite leg, keeping balanced. Scale for this, do it stepping, tap one leg behind. So we're getting ready to go. Make sure you guys get your heart rate down. Remember to breathe. This has got some good lactic acid buildup. Getting ready to go. So this one's a good one for balance. And that lateral explosive power. Almost there, almost at your one minute break. Again, if you need to step, you guys can step almost there. Keep moving, don't stop. Awesome work, guys. Whew. One minute break. So grab your water. I know I am. So you should be feeling some lactic acid. Heart rate's probably going up a little bit. Make sure you're hydrating. And taking this time to really breathe. So we're gonna bring our heart rate back down as much as we can. <laughs> so if you felt like that was too easy, then want you guys to move faster. Move faster, jump higher. So see if you can smash a hole in your ceiling with your head. Just kidding. <laughs> don't actually try that. Well, I don't know. If you want to, go ahead. But I don't actually recommend that. Um, but make sure you're moving with good movement patterns, okay? So jumping air squats. We're going less than 10. Get ready. So again, Jumping air squats, go. 30 seconds, guys. Squeezing your butt at the top. Jumping as high as you can. Again, if you need to scale to just normal squats, go ahead, squeeze your glutes at the top. Nice and powerful. Should be feeling really strong in these, guys. Keep going. Almost there. Awesome. So now we're on our lunges, everybody's favorite. So jumping lunges, guys. So again, calm your breathing. You guys are crushing it. I think, I can't see you, but I'm gonna assume you are. I'm feeling the burn. Go on shortly. So again, just reverse step back lunges if you need. So getting ready. Five seconds, guys, let's go. and jumping lunges. So thinking about one movement at a time. So really slowing down your brain. Focus on one rep at a time, guys. It's only 30 seconds. You got this. If you need to step back, again, that scale is always available to you. I say scale, but these are super tough. Anyways, almost there. Whew. Nice work, guys. Halfway through our second round already. Crushing it. So our next one is going to be our burpee into a squat. Again, we're trying to keep our core nice and tight. You should feel the burn in the legs, okay? So legs are going to feel like jelly, essentially, which is good. We want jelly legs by the end of this. So keep pushing. Getting ready to go. Burpee into a squat. So being quick to get into your squat position, guys. And doing a slight pause at the top of the movement. If you need to do a normal burpee, again, try to jump as if you're reaching a target. So I don't know if there's anything you really like but try to reach for that. Excellent. So we have one more. We're gonna go into our skaters and then we get our one minute rest. So work hard. Again, I can't see you, but 
I'm imagining you're working hard. So go in, go in about 10 seconds, guys. Taking a deep breath, slowing down your heart rate, getting ready for those skater lunges. And 30 seconds. So focusing on balance and that explosive lateral movement. I find if you have a spot on the floor that you're watching, that can help. If you can't find your balance, do a step into a skater lunge. You should feel this in the booties. I think everybody wants a juicy booty. Now's your time to work on it. Awesome, one minute rest. We have one more round. Hopefully you guys are sweating a little bit. So grab your water. Make sure you're hydrated. Should be feeling good. Again, a little sweaty, but ready to roll for one more round. And who doesn't love workouts that have built-in rest? I love them. They, they help you to actually be able to push, right? So you guys only have two minutes left of work. So for all of you lofters, blended burners, people who do ground zero class, or anybody else, you can do anything for two minutes, right? Especially with rest in there. So let's keep thinking with that. So we're gonna be going into our jumping air squats. Get ready, guys. 30 seconds. Trying to get as high as you can or moving as fast as you can with good form. So nice explosive power, guys. Explosive, again, hit your head on your ceiling. You need to go into your air squats. Almost there, guys, keep going. Last time we have to do these. Crushing it. Almost there and resting. Nice work. And I'm in this with you guys. I'm suffering with you. And I have to talk while I'm doing this too. So that makes it worse. <laughs> so you guys got this. So we're going into our jumping lunges. Last time we got this, guys. Again, 30 seconds. You can do this. So keep your chest up. Try not to fall too far forward in these. Getting ready to go. Jumping lunges. So again, nice booty burner here. Get a little bit of cardio, keeping your chest up, reversing your knees. You don't wanna bang your knee on the ground. That doesn't feel good. If you need to, you can do reverse step back lunges as well. So do whatever feels best for you. We're almost there, guys. Awesome. We are halfway through our last round. So almost there. So we're getting ready for our burpees into our squat. Okay, nice and explosive. Get your feet up to your hands, stand in your squat position or sink into your squat position as well as you can, okay? So we're getting ready to go. 10 seconds here. So again, slowing down your breath, calming down. 30 seconds, you guys got this. And we're going. Burpee into our squat. Slight pause. Really powerful and explosive. If you're just not feeling that, we're gonna go for our target burpees. So you can also imagine any of you basketball players shoot a free throw or whatever you would do there. Almost there, guys. Ask it, I'm assuming. Last 30 seconds of work. So we're gonna end with our skater lunges. So again, get that nice unilateral booty burner here. So find a target, look at it, and don't fall over. Just kidding, it's okay if you do. But try your best not to. So last 30 seconds, guys. Everything you got. Tapping your opposite foot behind you. Going into that squatting position. You can do a step and tap. 
And you should really feel it on that outside booty there. Almost there, guys. Trying to keep your chest nice and upright. You can do a mix of jumping and stepping. We're almost there, we're almost done the workout. Time. Crushed it, guys. Nice work. So, again, this is really great training that's gonna translate into your Olympic lifting, power lifting, overall workouts. Um, gets the heart rate up and works on explosiveness and speed. So, even though you may not have a barbell in your hands, this can transfer for when you come back. So, awesome job, guys. Drink water. <laughs> 